high, high, high. Now, so just fold over and just clip right to the neck. Fold over. I don't even measure it. Maybe it's half an inch as a go on each. Don't measure it, please. You just fold in over. You've got to have a built-in tolerance. Got to have ease in. So there we go. I'm going to do the armhole now. Use the tippy scissors when you're cutting round, okay? So hopefully that's made it all more clearer for you. What I use to glue is glue pens. So I'm going to show you two of them. This one's called Stick It, and this is a PVA glue. So I'm just going to just put the bottom here. So just put a bit, not too much, don't go crazy. When you're doing these shoulder darts and the bus darts, shoulder darts, they're actually nearly on the vice, so they'll stretch, so just be careful. And just use your waist cloth and just press that down. No sewing involved. No. So, so that balance seems good. So also, if you go to the side here, and if you've got equal amounts, no, this cloth is ready to be altered and, and adapted to dresses, waistcoats, blouses, even jackets. Of course, it never stays in the same position because this is just the foundation. But I think that's good, and it seems okay. Go down the centre front, and you do that for the back. So if you just get a piece of string, and basically. You don't worry about the belly button, just go where the natural indentation is. You can actually feel that. And we're going to extend this down to the, to the full length we want the dress. Now I'm going to take the, this. And there we have it. So, and I always base my bindings. Now I see people, they don't, but I do. If you've got more control, around the arm arm and I'll do this around the neck. Got my sharpie well. and then Sometimes just that in remember the little place. dashes around. So that's going to be stitched. You can mark your shoulder line just as a, a balance point and then just where your exact, I don't go for, I'll go there. That's where it finishes so I can see my edge underneath. Is it? And then there of it. course I use my chalk. You can use your French curve but I just use my chalk. Give it a nice right. press now. Okay, here we are. Here's the finished princess seam dress. We did it with the black one, exactly the same design. You can see the different colorways, how striking it can become. And here's the back. So the back zippers in, you can see, and, um, and it continues the lovely princess seam on the back. And there we have it, princess seam on the back.